Hey Paranormies, it's Jenna and you're on the light side of the paranormal. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about a cursed film. I started researching for this video months ago and I actually put a hold on finishing the research for this video because weird stuff was happening in my life and it almost seemed like diving into this was just not a good idea at the time. It almost had a correlation with what I was learning about with the curse of this film. I'm not gonna go into detail as to what was going on in my life at the time, but it was enough to make me put it on hold for a while. And then when I was in a better space, I picked it back up and kept going. And now I'm gonna film this video for you guys because it's so interesting and I didn't want to have done all this research for nothing. Quickly before we get started, if spooky and paranormal stuff is your jam, become a part of our Paranormy fam and click subscribe right here. We would love to have you as a part of our family. And if you're new here, you can go over to our Instagram and follow us there. You can follow Alice and myself on our personal pages as well and everything will be linked in the description below. So let's get into this. So for as long as I'd been watching horror movies, especially ones dealing with the occult or devil worship or demon summoning, I always wondered how you could perform some type of ritual, even though you're acting, and not have consequence to that. Because the words you're saying while you're acting very real about it, the intentions are there. And I always wondered how weird paranormal type stuff didn't happen around these crew members and actors when they were filming these horror movies. Turns out a lot of stuff actually does happen on these sets and to these cast and crew members. It's just not super talked about. Like it's just so weird. Like even now, I didn't write down the year. I want to to let you guys know what year it was because there was a remake done in the 2000s I believe but this was the first version that had this curse surrounding it and I'm trying to search what year it was and like it won't even load my page won't even load it loads for every other movie things like this like it starts to get really weird so this is the curse of the 1976 version of the omen so they actually had a religious advisor on set because they were dealing so in depth with religion. They wanted to make sure that everything was accurate to the faith. And this religious advisor actually told them that if you deal with this type of subject matter, bad stuff will happen to you. So they were actually advised against it, but that didn't stop them, obviously. So if you haven't seen the movie, The Omen, I'll read you the movie plot line. Robert, a married man, agrees to switch his wife's stillborn baby with an orphaned infant. But as the child grows, a sinister series of events starts taking place. So the idea is that this little boy slowly grows up and it is realized that he may possibly be the Antichrist. So the guy who came up with the idea for this film actually said that the devil's greatest trick is to hide in plain sight so that if they were to make a movie, essentially calling him out and revealing his tricks, um, that he would attempt to stop the film from being made. So now I'm gonna tell you the long list of crazy things that happened while this film was being made. So Gregory Peck was one of the main characters in this movie. And when he was on his way to England to begin filming this movie, his plane was actually struck by lightning. And then David Seltzer, who was the writer, he was flying to England a few days later and his plane was also struck by lightning. Two planes, two different crew members, and both were struck by lightning on their way to the set. So at one point, Gregory Peck actually canceled a flight and that flight that he was supposed to be on took off, hit a flock of birds, crashed at the end of the road, hit a station wagon, and in that station wagon was the wife and the two kids of the pilot who was driving the plane. Six of them died altogether. That is crazy to me. Whether or not Gregory Peck had anything to do with it and the fact that he was supposed to be on it, maybe if he was on it, he would have died. But the fact that it took off, hit a flock of birds, crashed, and then crashed into a car which had relatives of the pilot, like it, the synchronicities are mind blowing and what a tragedy. It's just absolutely awful. So later on during filming, a crew member and his wife were walking to a restaurant and on their way there, they heard a loud boom and 
the restaurant they were on their way to, the light just died. I charged at that light. There was a bomb in that restaurant and that restaurant exploded and 20 people were killed. Luckily they didn't get there yet and it was just on the way that this happened, but that's another huge coincidence and not a good one. Another one was at Windsor Safari Park. There was a monkey attack scene being filmed and I believe in that scene, the terror in that actress's expression is all real. She was very scared during this scene, but that animal handler who worked in that scene actually died because he was eaten by a lion shortly after they left filming that scene. Like, what? What an awful way to die. And it's just like, there's just this trail of horrible things that are happening in the wake of these crew and cast members. And lastly, the special effects supervisor, John Richardson, was in a car accident and his fiance was decapitated. And if that wasn't enough, it happened right near a sign that said, Omen. 66.6 .6 kilometers. Oh my gosh, such terrible things. Now I said that that was the last reported event that happened, but I am almost positive that there were multiple th little things that were happening to cast and crew members that they just didn't wanna talk about or that they didn't wanna report or that they didn't tell each other about. There was a lot of really crazy, awful things that happened surrounding this movie. So the theory goes, like attracts like. So if you are diving into these dark and demonic and awful things for this movie, you're going to attract that into your life or into the sets and the creation of this film. So even though it's pretend and you're acting, you're still performing somewhat of a demonic ritual or diving into demons and the devil. And therefore, you're still dipping your toes into something very negative. And it sees that and it latches onto that. So the big question is, was this movie cursed or was it blessed by the dark side? And what I mean by that is, wouldn't the devil or demons want people to know them and know that they exist and therefore want this film to be made? because it seems cursed because of all the terrible things that happened. But Gregory Peck and David Seltzer's planes were hit by lightning, but they were okay. So they were still able to make the film. Gregory Peck canceled that flight that crashed with six people dead. So he was still okay and he was still able to get that film out. The crew members were walking to the restaurant when the bomb went off. So they weren't in that tragedy. And the Windsor Safari Park handler was killed but not the cast and crew. And lastly, John Richardson's fiance passed away in that car accident, but John Richardson was okay. So it's very cursed, but at the same time, the people involved in actually creating the film were blessed because nothing happened to them. And therefore the film was still able to be created. So was it cursed or was it blessed? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think was going on here. Was this all just purely coincidence? Me, myself, as you know, if you are a follower of our channel, I do not believe in coincidences. I believe everything happens for a reason and there is meaning to everything. But I wanna know what you guys think. After hearing all this, do you think that there's something else going on here? Or was it simply just pure coincidence? If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, please make sure to give it a like so that I know that you liked it and YouTube knows that you liked it. If you have any other cursed films that you want me to make a video about, please let me know in the comment section. And that's it for me tonight, guys. So until next time, keep on creeping on. Bye.